Go ahead, your own. take it away. So yeah, let, let me go through the whole 17 yards, since there will be 17 modules in the expansion currently. So let, uh, I want to give you a short overview of what the new modules are first. Uh, well, obviously the one we will be playing today is a whole new set of milestones. And which, there are those milestones. Yep. I'll go, I'll go over them when, when I do the teach for the players here, quickly. So let's, let's see another, uh, another one of the modules is we have a few extra board tiles. And again, these are but, all prototypes, so keep that in mind, y'all. Yeah, they are very prototype art. That's, that's when it was still orange juice, I used the original uh, <laughs> <laughs> prototype. One of the interesting things here is that there's apartment buildings that have get do double marketing and there's no, there's no maximum on the amount of demand that can, uh, can pile up there. It can get huge. I've, I've, I've seen yours win there at the last turn selling, I don't know, 25 items of food and <laughs> earning about a thousand bucks. <laughs> it works nicely. Okay, all right, here we go. So there's one of them. Yep. All right. But if you just leave the okay. bottom left one. Okay. The that the one. one. That one. one. That one. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Because that that's another new new thing. If you just play with the with the tiles, it does nothing. But if you use the road worker mouse, well, I was going to say milestone. It's not milestone uh, module. Yes. You can build new ro new roads. There will be a couple of these on all the board to get extra connections. So but, it completely changes the board layout yeah, itself. Exactly. Or you can build parks which, like gardens to a house, add an extra multiplier. So if a house has a park adjacent, it pays double. If it has both the parks and the garden, it pays triple. Mm. Okay, wow. Isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's two of the new modules. Then we have a whole bunch of extra foodstuffs. So let me introduce you to our, I, I don't know if I should stereotype like this, but our Asian trio. Okay. So first of all, there's kimchi, which you can, which you can make. I'm gonna zoom this, in a little bit yeah. for that. Oop, other well, way. The there other way. Go. There we go. He produces a kimchi at the end of the cleanup phase and kimchi is not something you can market but it's something every house wants in addition to their order. So they, they'll go as far as they need to, to get kimchi together with the normal order. <laughs> All right. Isn't that nice? Then as an extra module, we have sushi. Um, sushi is a bit in two ways because normal people in normal houses pull up their noses and say, what's sushi? I don't want any sushi, keep it. Of course, anybody in the Push people in a house with a garden want sushi in preference over their normal demand. So just a joke or good for all their other stuff. <laughs> all right. And talking about jokers, we also have noodles, which you can see produce a little bit more than the usual cooks. 16 can be quite a bit. <laughs> 16 noodles. Yes. But people only want noodles if they can't get what they wanted. Okay. So if, if a house wants, let's say, two burgers, a, lem a lemonade and beer, nobody has that, they will go get four noodles. Huh. <laughs> huh. All right. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Um, then let me quickly introduce you to the next one. So let me first show you this. This, is, uh, this represents the rural areas ar around our little town. Uh, it's like the apartment building that gets double marketing. There's no maximum demand, and you can place a nice, billboard. nice, nice big billboards <laughs> next to the highway. People will co will come and go there. Okay. Then, of course, how do you ever get there? Well, essentially, the person who first places a billboard there uh, gets a milestone to place the highway exit on any exit from the main board and that's and that's where the uh, where the connection is to the rural area okay i got it that makes sense all right and like i said earlier guys remember everything is a prototype this will be coming out around essence time 
Yep. All right. And things may still change a little bit. Uh, no guarantees that everything will stay exactly as you see it now. Okay. Um, combining a little bit, maybe with sushi, also with other things. We have a nice Michelin guy. <laughs> Who's a marketer that will go all the way at the end of the normal sequence, but markets to all houses with gardens? High-end, snobby uh, <laughs> uh, customers. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Okay. And we also thought that the waitresses should get something more to do, so they are not. Uh, they will now be trainable in the next module. <laughs> they can go into movie stars. Oh, no. Movie stars essentially give you priority in both in turn order and in, and in selling food, you win all ties. Of course there's better and worse movie stars. Not that. That's really funny. That's, that's really funny. And clearly we won't be using this art, but it was too funny to put on. Okay, all right. So there. Um, then there's a night shift manager who I guess Greg knows, knows very well. Right. <laughs> oh, the picture's a little... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Me, there you go. So it's a little hard to see because the it's lighting. Li it's there. a little hard to see. It's, it's all your interns, all the employees who do not receive a salary will wor work both from 9 to 5 and from not 5 to 9, so they work double. Okay. <laughs> all right. Just over time. Um, this one will change titles. He's probably going to be called either Mass Marketeer or something in that spirit. Okay. Currently, it's still called Bus Driver. And for every Bus Driver that's played, we play an extra marketing wow. campaign round in the, in the turn. So your, your marketing campaigns may get fired two times, three times, four times. So you do the same marketing yes. twice? Three times, etc. So it's yep. not double the, or it's double the marketing. It's not diff, double the marketers. Got it. Yeah, it's okay. And of course, the houses will fill up quickly this way. Sure, it, unless it's an apartment complex. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. I okay. imagine that works really well with that. <laughs> okay. How to guess? Okay. Ah, and before I forget, especially for Jess. <laughs> yes. The coffee expansion. There's a, there's also a coffee module. Well, there's. Eh, give me one second to pull out this one. I should have prepared slightly better, clearly. <laughs> you can make you can make coffee as well. Co coffee is also something you cannot market. But people on the way to get food will stop at any place that get and give them coffee. Much it's like true. my world. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> coffee. <laughs> and you will sell them a cup of coffee mm -hmm. at whatever price you set. Luxury manager not included. Okay, all right. Well, included in the price, but not with the barista. Okay. You'll have to put that up. Got it. Separately. Okay, all right. Then we have the glacier, or glacier as proper pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it means something completely different. <laughs> I know. It's for, he, he makes ice creams. Of course, everybody likes ice cream. So every house you sell to gives you an extra 10 bucks. Okay. Just as just as a bonus. They have dessert. Yeah. They have dessert. Exactly. Totally makes sense. Okay. Always make room for dessert. Always. Always leave room for dessert. Um, then we have another fun new set of miles, uh, new set of reserve card that replaces the old one. So instead of choosing between 100, 200, 300 extra bucks to add to the bank, and how many slots your all the CEOs right. get. You always add 200 to the bank per player, but the base price changes. It may get, it may go to 20, it may go to five. Ooh. This will change change things up quite a bit. It, I I would imagine. All right. Yep. And well, what the what the expansion is named for is the is the ketchup milestone, which is if you. If you market it to a house or demand token that you that you place gets fulfilled by somebody else, you get you get the milestone, it, and you count this as, be, as being at range minus one, which means you're you're one step closer to every house on the board. Okay, nice. The, next to that, we also have materials for six players for people who want who want to play with six, and we will have extra food tokens and bigger food tokens to represent units of five. Uh, that makes sense, especially for the uh, for the apartments. Okay, all right. So there you go. 
That is, uh, and, and getting back to yep. this. Let me zoom this back out. And that's a very quick run through of all the modules. Of all the modules. Okay. Yeah, if you notice that these three right here, and I'm sure your rune's going to go over it, but the remove it end of turn two. So if you don't get them turn one, they're not going to come into play. So yep. go for it, Jeroen. So what's in the new milestones? If you could oh, yeah, sure. zoom in uh -huh. on them, that's yep. probably easier. So, the, so there's, there's three, three of them that are going to go away at the end of turn two. If you achieve them, you keep them. The, the, the wording on these will, will obviously change a bit since it's something that, that we, it's very short, shorthand for us. So mm -hmm. Not always as easily understood by others. Right. Um, so uh, there's a ton of my, uh, marketing milestones. So there's the first marketeer used. Is every demand token you, pu you put out on the board with one of your marketers gets you five bucks immediately. Especially nice if with the new reserve cards, if the base price drops to five, you already made half your money. <laughs> Whoever sells it gets it. essentially the same. Okay. Unless there's luxury managers, etc. of course. Also, you count as being two steps closer to every house on the board. That's the range minus two part. Okay. Um, and then in the, in the same row, there's milestones for every use of the four different uh, marketing employees. So the marketing trainee, the first time you use, or the first person to use them, gets a free kitchen trainee and errand boy. It can be handy. The first campaign manager used can, can place a second mailbox or billboard advertising exactly the same for the same duration. Okay. Only the first time, only the first use. Okay. Similarly, the first brand manager on the first use, the first plane markets two different goods at the same time. And you, you pick which one gets marketed first in case the house is full. Okay. And finally, the radio will be permanent. The first radio. Wow. Which I'm not sure you really want, but <laughs> that's why it's there. Then on the next row, there's five different milestones for the first person to sell either of the, of the five different good, uh, goods that are in the game, well, food and drink. So if, if you sell the first burger, your CEO gets four slots. Doesn't matter what the reserve cards tell you. Okay. Um, I'm just debating if I... I'll, I'll skip over the pizza for a second. Okay. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go to the end. The, fir the first Coke gets, gets you the freezer by popular demand. <laughs> the first beer sold, instead of paying your employees in cash, you can pay them with one food or one drink and they'll be much happier. Much more relaxed. <laughs> Unless you give them Coke, maybe. I don't know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> First laminate sold, you can train employees on the job so while they are working, but only if you preserve their color. When you so, say preserve their color, you mean green stays green, blue stays blue, exactly. et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So I could, I could train a marketing trainee up to a campaign manager with a trainer. And since marketing campaigns initiate after training, I can then immediately put on a marketing campaign. Okay. I cannot train a, train a management trainee into a luxury manager. Because it since, changes color. It changes Got color. It. Okay, all right. So essentially everything that trains off man, management employees, you cannot do with first laminate sold. All the other ones pre, always preserve color, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And then the, the first pizza sold, which I slightly skipped over. Um, commonly known in playtesters as the pizza bomb. <laughs> Boom, pizza everywhere. No. Yeah, or boom, 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 if you time it <laughs> even better. Um, you place a radio tower placed by the game on the, on the tile of sale, so wherever the house is, it will advertise pizza for two turns. So here, it would be all of that, right? Yeah, so you will get the radio tower on this house. It would advertise pizza for two turns. And hey, free pizza for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not free. Right, get, right, right. I need to make money after all. Okay. All right, then essentially the other two opening moves for the first recruiting girl used 
uh, you get a free executive uh, vice president. That's insane, I think, because for those that forget, that's an executive VP. That's a lot of slots. It is a lot of slots. And you don't need to pay a salary either. Right. Um, there, there can be a slight timing issue, especially with, with four players. If all four players want to get him, number four has no EVP left because there's only three in the game. Okay. All right. So don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and then for the long term ish opening, is the first trainer used? Uh, it, it does. It does two things. First of all, you you get an extra trainer just for free. And if you're broke, you don't need to fire any employees. So this really allows you to build up for a huge final sale at, at the end, last turn or near the end of the game. If you time it right. Yeah, it, 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 your, your final big sale may be the turn after the game ends and then <laughs> it doesn't really work as well. <laughs> um, and then for the bigger price wars in order to ensure that the game ends for the first discount manager used. If you discount by three or more, you just remove a hundred bucks from the bank. Um, you can also use this ag aggressively if you're ahead to, uh, to just try and end, try and the, end the game early. early. Yeah, yeah, that exactly. makes sense. Yep. If you're the first one to build a house, you may stack trainers. It's the same as the old uh, first 20 bucks in salary milestone. You, the, the same employee can be trained by multiple trainers. Okay. The first new restaurant gives you a permanent mailbox in the area that the restaurant is in. Okay. Also, also placed by the game. First wage was used, slightly, slightly different this time. It, dro it drops your salaries to three bucks. Can be interesting if you get a recruiting manager or HR director, which give you a flat Five, five bucks discount on salary for every recruiting you don't use. Mm, okay, all right. And those numbers don't change. So with five bucks, you can almost pay for two employees. Okay, and finally, almost. <laughs> you need one more buck. I mean, right. And finally, the first card operator use doubles the amount of drinks hold by any vehicle. Okay. Note there's nothing for an errand boy anymore, just for the for the card operator. Okay. So these completely replace yeah, the these, existing These completely replace the existing milestones. Okay. So in other words, all of those go away and are replaced with this. Can you mix and match if you want, or is it all uh, or one? I would not recommend it, but okay. I know people will do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. All right, so this is what we're playing with today, is yep. these. We're not going to play with any of the modules, so we're not going to play with kimchi, we're not going to play with coffee, we're not going to do any of that. So it's the base game, but these are what's changing Repl the game for the game that we're playing today. Re replace, replacing the old milestone. So right. it's probably the biggest mix-up while playing a single module. Okay. All right, you want to give a brief overview of the game and then we'll get started? Yes, yeah, so let's give a brief overview. So if I oh uh, yep yep I will go ahead quickly give you the yeah. player rate again. There. <coughs> so each each turn is seven phases. Officially, we'll do phase like so there we go. Phase one, everybody decides what employees they place. They play. Remember, black cards can only report to your CEO. So you can only have two levels of black cards. You can't exactly. have a third level down below it. Yeah. You can have a third level of other employees, but not black cards. Exactly. So no big trees of only management trainees. Okay. Then phase two, we, ch we choose our turn order. Whoever has the most open slots left chooses first. Open slots being not yep. manned or woman. Not manned. Right, yes. yep. Not personed. <laughs> right. Then phase three is is the, the actual action phase, so in turn order, everybody gets to do all their actions. So every employee played, does their thing. Okay. I always play it essentially loose, what the, in order for a couple of things, the, or, the actual order matters. Okay. Phase four is largely automatic. We check each house that has a demand where they're gonna eat and drink or not, as the, <laughs> as the case may be. Right. 
phase five is payday, everybody has to pay their salaries. If you can't pay or don't want to pay, just fire them. Okay. Phase six, all the marketing campaigns fire, just in numerical order. So uh, going over it quickly, radio is ma marked to the tile they're on every adjacent tile. So if it's here, if it's on this tile, it would mark it to all yeah, nine of exactly. those. Exactly. Planes mark it to every house they fly over. De depending on the width, yeah. that's what they so fly. The, so there were one, three or five columns wide. Mailboxes marked to every house inside their area without crossing the road. So for example, this one would be one area. It's fine to walk through a house, that's no problem. Okay. And finally, billboards marked only to what they touch directly. Easy enough. So some of those bigger billboards could be placed yep. here and it would mark it to both those houses. Yep. Yeah, this, this would not be a bad right. spot to place. All right. And uh, for initial setup, we randomized turn order already. So from last to first, we'll place our first restaurant. Oh boy, and I'm up first.